Strategy 28. Work data-driven. Two months before I started the first part of my pilgrimage, I decided I needed new walking shoes. My old ones were, well, old. So I went to a store which is known for their expertise in this area and tried on a variety of shoes. After trying out a few, I asked for professional advice. The guy that helped me asked me several questions. Where was I going to walk? What kind of terrain? How many days? Would I carry a backpack? And so on. Since I had already tried on some shoes, I decided to buy a pair of high walking shoes of an Italian brand. I liked the fact that my Dutch feet would be in Italian shoes walking the Italian path. They fitted well and I liked their shape and color. I did some trial walks and decided that my shoes and I were a good match. So off I went to Ifria at the end of May 2021 to start my pilgrimage. In the course of the morning of the second day, my feet were starting to feel painful. Especially all toes of my left foot and the little toe of my right foot. Lots of blisters started to show and walking became painful. In the evenings, I transformed into a nurse, giving the best care possible to my feet. But putting on my shoes again every morning became sheer torture. This tested my perseverance during the walks. When I returned home, I decided to ask for advice at a different outdoor shop. And before the sales representative started asking questions, he asked me to take off my shoes and socks and step on a glass plate that was connected to a computer. He made a scan of my feet and then started asking similar questions as the other guy had asked me. The data of my feet showed that my left foot was wider than my right foot. The front of my feet was wider than that of most people. And I needed a high shaft and, it would, and I found that size 41 was too small and that size 42 would fit me much better. I showed the shoes I used during the first part of the pilgrimage and he looked completely puzzled. Those are too narrow and don't match your feet at all. I knew enough. The computer suggested two different brands and I fitted four different pairs of shoes. One of them felt the best and it turned out to be the brand I used to walk in 10 years ago. And at that time, I never had one blister. I started the second part in August 2021 and these shoe shoes made such a difference. Yes, I had blisters but not the number I had experienced before. I had normal pilgrim's blisters that are just part of walking that path. The lesson here is to work data-driven, if possible. Expert advice is nice, but solid proof is better. Of course, this is valid for CX as well. Make sure you have customer data, which proves you are on the right track. Data that unveils where to improve and what impact it has. Data in customer journey projects, where you actively track the results in your projects to prove your success. Data that backs up your CX strategy and helps with decision making. For me, the difference between the first and the second pair of shoes was walking without that piercing pain. It made the walk much lighter and brighter. Find out how you can use data to make your CX practice lighter and brighter.